Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, uh, once again, uh, I'm working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and uh, just uh, I'm I'm at a point now where uh, I don't I want to talk about this uh, new team, this new team that I got. But in order to in order to save me a whole boatload of typing, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, record and upload a video about it instead. So it's a lot easier for me to just talk it out than it, than it is to type it out. And then, like usual, I'm going to have some music going in the background. This is going to be Ancestral Memories, their Sacred Forest album. And there's also a bunch of uh, Japanese characters in the title as well, so I'm under the impression that this music actually came from Japan. So it, it's just some uh, really, really laid-back ambient music. So it just, it's just what I'm into right now. So let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, so, uh, let me, so yeah, it, this is going to be my okay boomer doomer team, uh, you'll, you'll kind of find out why here, let me go ahead and, uh, okay, game's going to freeze up here momentarily, it usually does this whenever I'm, like, trying to copy something, okay, there we go, so, Just gonna pick a spot. I'll pick a Dana. A Dana, how do you pronounce it? One. So, yeah, that's why I know. Okay, Boomer Doomer. So, I guess I'll just. Probably easier just to do it here. So we're gonna start here at the top. Uh, the forest troll. He's believe it or not in the tank. Um, he takes a third of damage. From, he takes uh, reduces skull damage by a third. He also, uh, if I can manage to do skull damage to my opponent, he'll also untangle him, meaning he won't deal any attack. Da he won't deal any skull damage at all. And then, um, and then the big one here, he uh, doubles the number of green gems on the board and creates three green ones. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much my, uh, this is pretty much my new main team right here. It totally suits my playstyle. I'll talk a little more as I show more of the members. Uh, bottom trade, I guess. Do you see somebody with four or five? And then, uh, damages all enemies and then creates a mix of 14 green and a mix of 14 green and brown gems and I really need to get a nap in so and then Mirage Queen if you've seen some of my other videos you know that I'm um, fairly popular with me especially in PvP I mean all my elemental guys start with 50% uh, mana uh, curses all enemies Converts all green gems to doom skulls. So, and then the and then the other big one here. I had just uh, managed to craft this weapon. I believe this morning. It's considered to be one of the best weapons in the game. Um, it it deals 32 damage to everybody plus one for tempering level, basically plus 10, making it 42. And then. Kind of like the Mirage Queen that I just showed. It's going to convert all the brown gems to Doom Skulls. And if the, if the enemy has a red weapon like this, it's going to create five more. And then I'm going to gain three mana. And at 18, 18 green, yeah, I kind of need it. Three mana for each green, each green enemy. So, and then on top of that, um, every time I cast it, I gain a little bit of life, and it also uh, it also entangles the the top enemy. Um, reaching it also deals a little bit of damage to the guy below him, and then leaf it. This is um this is one of the few things in this game that can uh, consistently induce a leaf storm. I'll kind of explain more what that is when I actually get into the demo. Um, and then we got Doomed, it says it on the right, it also drains mana. 
from all green enemies. And again, since he needs 18 green mana to get this going, he's definitely going to need it. And then... Oh wait, this is all one word here. Doom nature, yeah. And then, but yeah. But, like I said, right now, this is probably my favorite team right here, so props to DJ Screw for bringing this up. Um, because, unlike other teams, the rock band comes to mind where, for the most part, you could just whack them all your abilities. You can just cast them as they come up. And then, those that have seen some of my other videos, um, this was my main build, but kind of like my current my current group you can't just cast abilities willy-nilly with this you can only you only want to cast them at a certain time this the okay boomer doomer group however works works on that principle but like i said um let me go ahead and um let me go ahead and get a battle started here you're prioritizing um, blue brown and green I have there so, since he's up and then and this is also one of those this is one of those teams where if your top opponent is not entangled you may want to do a skull match first which, which again, will entangle them when doing when doing skull damage. But I'm okay for the moment. So let's go ahead and uh, cast this. It's gonna give us some greens and browns. And then, and then we got this ability here, smother. Once again, it doubles the number of green gems on the board. So this isn't something you just. This isn't something you cast willy nilly. You want to already have a bunch of green gems on the board already. That way, so you're, you're doubling all those. I have a uh, 14 on the board, as it shows in the upper left right now. So that's that's enough. And then let's go ahead and recast that. I guess we can do it again. And now we only have 11. A little bit of a risk. Yep. Luckily, Frozen kicked in, so put a stop to that. And now, just like my uh, just like my previous main, my uh, previous Shrooms and Bones team, you don't something like this. You only want to cast it ideally when the combination of uh, uh, skulls and brown gems results in at least a four match. So, which I have a five match here, an L shape. Something I often forget is that uh, initial damage. And again, it's going to deal damage to all enemies. And then now they got. And then one thing that that weapon does is it creates a leaf storm, which causes green gems to fall more than other colors, which is going to feed is going to feed the Mirage Queen. But same thing. Ideally, you want to wait until the combination of skulls and green gems results in at least a four match. I gotta keep it my turn. Okay, it looks like we have ourselves a four match here, so Doom Glaive it is. And now that one's ready to go. Here we go. But like I said, this is this is currently my favorite team right here because it totally suits my play style. I have more fun um, being strategic with my abilities than a team like, say, 
the Rock Band. I mean, this is probably my second favorite team right here. But again, for the most part, you can pretty much just whack them all the abilities. Just hit them as they come up. And then with this team here, there's a, there's a much stronger uh, element of RNG in this. So. Whereas, again, with this team here, mostly you want to you got to play carefully to some extent. So, so, let's just go ahead and do one more. And then after this, I'll I'll try to do a PvP one. Now, this this team, uh, hopefully I'll remember to say this later, but uh, it's not invulnerable. Like again, it, this guy here, he's an important part of this team. So, and he's also the tank. So. I can't always just go right for the blue matches and the brown matches. Sometimes I might want to play it safe and instead go for a skull match. Which again, that's gonna, that's gonna entangle this guy so now he deals no skull damage at all. Because especially with the uh, kind of damage these guys are doing, they could kill my guy in one or two shots. So. Again, we're at a bit of a conundrum here. I only have eight green gems, so... But I'll just go ahead and go for it. Got lucky. And again, the gems that are created are placed randomly on the board. There is no order. So... And then I'll go ahead and... Then dealing the skull damage, it should refresh the entangled condition on them. And hey, how about that? I got four brown. Got a four match right there, so we'll go ahead and cast that. Uh, okay, we got a five match here, a T shape. Looks like Mirage Queen is up. And we got a five match right here. A plus symbol. So. Uh, we'll just grab this guy over here. And we got a four match here. Browns and Skulls. So. plus one up here so but all of you guys are getting the idea and we'll, uh, don't have anything else so guess we'll have to go to the well and we got 15 green gems so that's more than enough Okay, that should be enough right there. So let's um let's do a PvP one. Now but once again, this is this is not an invincible team. Um I might struggle with a little bit with this one here. I mean Zolgov teams for for those that don't for those that have um uh, for those, for those that have never played this game before, or for those that have never like watched any of my other Gems of War videos, this is probably the most powerful, uh, most powerful troop in the game. I mean, one, he's immune to almost all stat status effects except curse, which you, if you can get a curse on him, then. He's no longer impervious, and then you can debuff him like normal. Um, and then whenever you're matching skulls, he gets, you know, plus five to all his skill points. And then the big one here, Annihilation, he outright kills an enemy. And he's gonna... He burns and freezes everybody else, and he also creates 12 skulls on top of it, so... And then... 
the elementalist class, just like mine, can pretty much instantly shut down my team. I mean, if you saw all the uh, all the debuffs I was doing on my opponent, so yeah, they, they can do the same thing to me. In fact, yeah, she ain't using a hammer. I might actually have a chance, but once again, just by simply getting any kind of four match is pretty much gonna shut down this team. So once again, it's not invincible. Once again, with this team, you're prioritizing uh, blue and brown. Um, you can also prioritize green, too, if the other two colors aren't available. Okay, got lucky there. Top guy got entangled, so... I'll protect her from skull damage, temporarily at least. Gems were kind of on the border. Thinking maybe just taking the three match and uh, getting him up. But since the top guy is entangled, I'll go for it. Well, got lucky. So, I don't see any uh, four matches, so let's go ahead. There we go. So, let's fire that away. Hey, not once but twice. Cool, we got that again. But as, as you can see, um, especially with with, way, with my playstyle, I prefer to keep it my turn as long as possible. Especially when you have a when you have somebody like him, you don't want to give opponents that use, especially opponents that use Zolgoth. You don't want to give them a turn because it, it may be the only turn they need. So we got a we got a five match here, and then before I forget again, when you have a choice between Mirage and him, um, if you don't already have a curse on the on the enemy, then yeah, you want to prioritize Mirage first. But if you already have a curse on him, then just then yeah, go right on ahead with a uh, Doom Clay. again but sorry to sound like a broken record this is not an invincible team though or hey it just hit me there's no hero in the group normally if you could see uh yeah I, I can't I can't move it up but tide collar the class normally tide collars can freeze cannot uh, freeze my guys which again freezing shuts down my team Again, I gotta keep it my turn, but that only matters when you have when you actually have a hero in your group. Which, as you can see here, I mean, Joe Schmo, that's me, the hero. See, I, in order to access your class, you have to have the hero in your group. Without them, you get none of these. So, so. Means that he ain't got a hero in a group, I might actually have a chance against this one. And 
this team ain't no pushover because some of these troops, they start battles with full mana, which means they can get these abilities off right off the bat. So, once again, uh, the way I prefer to play, it's very important that it stays my turn as much as possible. And I didn't get him a mana surge, so... Well, luckily he just got debuffed, so he won't be dealing any skull damage. And got lucky there too, got a 5 match. And then, if you could see the web on my top guy there, normally what that means is it sets your magic level to 0. But fortunately, this guy's ability, it's a flat number. It's not a variable, so double the number of green gems. So, web does not affect him at all. Since I got 18 gems, quite enough to keep in my turn. There we go, and it's a special added bonus. Glaive is up, and yeah, got a good four match right there, so let's fire that off. Pull out the whole right side of the board. So again. Ooh, made a bad call there. Uh, because that ability ain't up. So I'll go ahead and cast this again. That was enough to take her out. And now, really, they, they they can't they can't really do much except converting gems. Uh oh, didn't know they did that though. skull match and I don't want to pull that down either let's see if I can find something on the floor nope got lucky I got hella lucky and got a five match in the middle turn. <sighs> so, yeah, um, that'll do her. I just wanted to do a demo on that group. And I'll most likely be playing the living hell out of it, too. Like I said, it's my favorite team. So, definitely my new main. So, and I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.